Andrew Marvel to his coy mistress. Now, therefore, while the youthful hue sits on thy skin like morning dew, and while thy willing soul transpires at every pore with instant fires, now let us sport us while we may, and now, like amorous birds of prey, rather at once our time devour than languish in his slow-chapped power. Let us roll all our strength and all our sweetness up into one ball, and tear our pleasures with rough strife through the iron gates of life. Thus, though we cannot make our son stand still, yet we will make him run. We should be expecting the poet's thoughts to reach some kind of conclusion here. If we had enough time, we could love each other very slowly, but we don't have that much time, so... So, what? What do you think is the conclusion to all of this? Again, pause the video if you need to and think about it. If we had enough time, we could love each other very slowly, but we don't have that much time. So, let's make love now. See how the poet repeats that word, now. In contrast to the hundreds and thousands of years in the first stanza, he wants to act now, at once, while she is youthful and while we may. The logic takes something like the following form. If A, then B. But not A. Therefore, C. It's a false logic because there might be other options apart from C, the most obvious one being that they neither develop their relationship very slowly nor jump into bed together immediately, but simply end their relationship and go their separate ways. But by presenting it as a kind of syllogism, the poet makes it seem as if there's a kind of inescapable logic to what he's saying. 